Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing slash product review for you. Um, I was contacted by a manufacturer requesting if I would be willing to receive and sample their light pad. The company is called Tohito um, or something very similar to that, you know, kind of a standard Chinese company sounding name. Um, I'm going to be honest too. So they sent me one package and when I unboxed that one inside was actually a used and broken light pad. It was clearly a return shipment from someone who had used this light pad for some time. It broke and they shipped it back. Now, the reason why I went ahead and contacted the company and let them know about the situation is because they do use Amazon warehousing for stocking and shipping out their products. So there is a very good chance that it actually was the fault of the Amazon warehouse. They probably just accepted this return and didn't bother opening the package to find out what really was going on with the return. So that's kind of what I'm going for, but we'll find out this time when I open up this light pad, see what I have inside. All right, but the outside, pretty basic black and white box here, LED light pad, it is an A4 size. It says easy tracing, draw what you see, see what you draw. Okay. <laughs> At the bottom here, it says that it is eyesight protected. I honestly don't really know what that means. Um, there is a scale available on here, probably just centimeters. Um, it says it's ultra thin, that it has an adjustable brightness. And that is really about it. You know, yep, made in China. So we will go ahead and open this up. And like I said, let's hope for a better product this time around. If I can, maybe this end, if I can get it open. This is already actually a really good sign. I can't get this box open. And the last box um, was very easy for me to open up. So this one, however, All right, so we're gonna pull that out. There are goodies on the bottom here. All right, so on the inside, there are four magnets, but they don't tell you on the outside of the box, but I do remember reading, because I looked into the product before I agreed to do the review, is that there are four magnets present in the light pad itself, so that you can put a paper down and hold it in place. Here is your charging cable with Looks like a pretty standard, you know, USB, as well as I think this is called the USB-C link. And then you have a pencil eraser and a pencil sharpener. And this is why you get, I know it seems odd, why you have a pencil with accessories in here. It's because to just help you out with using this light pad, they actually give you some sheets that you can try tracing, which is kind of cool. Let you try it out right away. All right, so on the inside here, you have your copy board instructions, product introduction. Copy board is also called tracking writing board. Okay, copy in a cartoon animation. Product of professional tools is mainly composed of acrylic and LED lights. Oh, well, there you go. Some specifications. It says easy operation. Put the light pad on flat desktop, then connect the power supply. Hold power button. Can be adjust suitable brightness <laughs> you want. Again, that would be some uh, Chinese... Mandarin, Cantonese, heaven only knows, uh, but that would be some translation that maybe went a little bit awry there. Put the artwork on a fixed area, add copy paper, fixed, start sketching. Finish drawing, turn off the power. All right. Stepless dimming is to hold down the button. Does not move to adjust the brightness you want. 
All right, so I take that to mean that we hold down the start button to get to the brightness that we want. It is not like a step-by-step, -step. like you don't have like a level one, two, three kind of thing. Okay, move this aside. And then on the inside, I will show you this stuff. It says to remove protective film. Oh yeah, see this is, <laughs> the last one, there was no protective film. So again, already these are much, much better signs. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off. And then these are the tracing sheets that they give you. So you have a parrot and a budgie. You have a, a fly. You have a generic looking dog. Another generic dog with bone this time. Mouse with a little piece of cheese. Cute dolphin. And yep, that's it. And then behind that you do have uh, several sheets of tracing paper so that you can give this a try right away. And I think maybe we will include that with the demo here, provided this light pad works. I'm really hoping, I'm, I'm a lot more optimistic this time around. All right, so it does look like it does actually have to be plugged in, which is not a problem. And this is actually, this is a pretty long cord. Yeah, this is this is a six foot cord, so that is handy too. Oh, and Elfie just joined us. If you don't know, Elfie is my bulldog. Yeah, I know, you're very snorty. Now everyone can hear you snorting, Elfie. <sighs> yep, that's, that's him snorting. Ugh. Okay. All right, I do have it plugged in now. Oh, Elfie, you're going to ruin this video, bud. You breathe too heavy. Oh, look. Oh, and it works. Oh, and look at that. Okay. Looks like that's as bright as it gets. Tap it once. Okay, turns it off. So this is low. Oh, and then it goes lower. So, okay. All right. So, not hard to figure this out, but how it works, pretty basic. So we're going to turn it off. Now when I turned it on, it's going to be at its lowest light setting. I will hold down on the power button, and now it is at its brightest light setting. When I click it again, it'll turn off. This time when I turn it on, I think it will be at its brightest light setting, and it is. If I gently hold down on it, it goes back down to its lowest light setting. Okay, this one works, guys. I am so happy. Measurements are indeed in only centimeters, which I've said it before, but frankly, that's what makes sense. The rest of the world works in the metric system. Um, why can't we? <laughs> I know it's a pain in the butt converting, but you know what? The UK has done it. We could do it too. We were supposed to do it, and then we backed out. Anyway, that is a totally different rant. All right, so I think what we're first going to do is I am going to go ahead and we're going to take one of these tracing papers. Um, let's do... There was one that I thought looked pretty good to try tracing. Let's do some of this dog. All right, we're going to lay it down there and then we're going to pull out these little magnets. and see if these work. So magnets are supposed to be, okay, yeah. Okay, there are magnets. We're gonna turn it this way. That's upside down now. You know, I can trace a dog upside down. Why not? All right, I am not gonna take the time to try and sharpen this pencil. Instead, I am just going to get my black fine liner over here. One of my favorites. And this is the lowest light setting, I think. So you can see that this is the lowest light setting. And we're just going to sort of 
start doing some, you know, not like amazing tracing here. Do, do, do. I just want to show you how this works. Yeah, this is some very bad tracing. You could do much better tracing. You could do a much better job than what I'm doing. I'm just letting you know. All right, now I will say this has been a little hard for me to see. So let's go ahead. We're going to turn it off, turn it back on. And now here we are at its top setting. And I'm hoping you can see the extreme difference here. This is much easier for me to see now. All right, I'm gonna hurry up and finish tracing him here. Which is why it's so shoddily done. I don't have time for Big tracing. Although when I was a child, I actually really enjoyed tracing a lot. And then as I got a little bit older, I stopped tracing and would start copying. So then I'd take, you know, an image like this and copy it. And you know what I did this mostly with? It was Disney art. I loved Disney animation. So I would take still shots and I would trace them and then I'd work my way up to copying them freehand. And you know, they really were not bad. Like I had, I had other kids ask me to draw for them something that they had seen me draw because they thought it was that good. I mean, again, it was just copying. So it's not like I was creating any art, but still, you know, it was kind of cool. So I am kind of capable of actual drawing. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to pretend that I'm, you know, good at it or anything. But I can sort of do it. Not like my daughter. My daughter is insanely good. All right. So here we go. My dog is, for the most part now, outlined. And I did it upside down. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to turn this off. And I'll flip him around now so you can see. That was done with the light pad. Down here at the bottom was low light, which was definitely harder for me to see, and I'm hoping that you could see that too. And then the rest of him was done with the high light, which was very cool. All right, so that is tracing with the light pad. That was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's a ton of value in tracing necessarily, other than it's just kind of fun and relaxing. Now, what do I, you know, more often do that I'd probably want a light pad for? Ah, yes, that would be diamond painting. I think we're going to turn it back horizontally. And I'm sorry about my dog, guys. <laughs> His favorite place, if I let him, is underneath my desk. And, um, yeah, hi, Alfie. Hi. I know, yeah. He's so happy now. Mom let him go underneath my his my desk. I didn't actually let him. He just did it because I forgot to close my little like door, which is really a step stool that blocks his way into my little office nook here. All right. So now diamond painting is really the way that I would be using my light pad. So this is my current whip work in progress. It is from Royal Diamond Painting, which by the way, the day I'm recording this is March 20th. And today is the very, very last day that you can actually shop from this marvelous company. It breaks my heart but at the same time um her reasons for shutting down this part of her business 
make complete and total sense. I stand by and support the decision 100%. This is just a little 30 by 30. This is like a snack size print and it is still really cute. I actually wish I'd gotten it larger now that I have done a third of it. All right, anyway, enough on that, we turn it on. All right, so I'm hoping, we'll turn it back off again and you can hopefully, I'm gonna actually blow you up. All right, yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, so we're gonna turn it off. This is what it looks like. I'll remove my cover minder here too. This is what it looks like with no light pad under it, which generally this is actually how I do diamond paint. Um, that's, you know, that's me. A lot of people though I know really need to use a light pad. If I'm working on a section with a lot of black, I need a light pad for that. So this is what you have with the light off. And then this is with your light on. This is a substantially improved, I don't want to say image, but ability for me to make out the symbols. Um, definitely. I mean, definitely. And this is even on, you know, this is already a very light canvas. So to see that kind of improvement is kind of cool um and like I, that's on a light canvas all right so that's at its brightest setting so now we're gonna dim it down and now it is technically still on but i don't think you're gonna be able to see the difference between on off all oh, just barely on off okay just barely versus bright that is really nice guys and i love the simplicity of using this it is very simple to use i kind of like that it's just a matter of pushing the button on and off now one sort of disadvantage to this is i do believe it has to be connected to a power supply so there is no battery in this and that is perhaps a bit of a downside for some of you yeah to me it definitely looks like there is no there is no battery here so that is one potential downside for me it really isn't that big of a deal um you know I just push the cord aside but if you like having a battery then this is perhaps not the item for you but otherwise I I actually really really like this a lot yeah, this is really nice, guys. Okay, so I will link to this product in my notes below now that I know that this actually does seem to be a decent, good product. Um, again, it the brand is Tojito, and this is just a basic A4 size. I believe it retails for right around $20, so it is not expensive, which, again, for what you're paying for, you're going to get a simple light pad, and this is this is perfect. I have no complaints whatsoever. It is thin while still feeling pretty sturdy. It does have little feet on the bottom, so this will help keep it cool. You got a little bit of airflow then. Oops, and I just totally knocked you guys. Sorry. So no, I do. I like this one. This is a much better experience. I'm glad I went ahead and I gave the company a second shot because um, this is definitely a brand new working product. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to back you out again a little bit. You feel very close to me right now. Okay, there we go. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you found this helpful. And like I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone is going through, what kind of day or week or month they've had. So just be kind. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon. Hi, Elfie. So that's Elfie, guys. This is who's been keeping us company.